For now, 13 News Now reporter Adriana de Alba shows us how people on the Outer Banks are reacting. Right now, the threat of rip currents is already high here in Dare County. Emergency management is urging people to stay out of the ocean. It could mean dangerous conditions for even the most experienced swimmers out there. In the Outer Banks, Jeanette's Pier is filled with people fishing. A sunny day on the beach for people vacationing. But in the next 24 hours, Hurricane Michael will turn this around. It's quiet. Storm comes. Tonight, there's a tropical storm warning for all of Dare County. The area is anticipating two to four feet of flooding. By tomorrow night, the storm will bring heavy rain and wind gusts of up to 65 miles per hour. There's also a chance of tornadoes, and rip currents are already posing a threat here. Yeah, it's a bummer. All of this, enough for Randy Bosiger and his wife to cut their vacation short. So they're getting one last day of fishing in. I keep getting updates on my phone, and it just seems to be getting quicker and quicker, and it's worse and worse, so we're going to head out first thing in the morning. Emergency management is urging people not to drive during the storm. That's why Randy plans to get out early. I mean, I don't want to get caught in heavy rain on the way home and have to drive in there. But others are staying put. We're going to stay to the bitter end. <laughs> we look forward to our week, so we plan to, to stay, and hopefully the storm won't be nearly as bad as Florence. In Nags Adriana de Alba, 13 News Now.